This is a Game Caviar production. One of these days, one of these days, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a nice radio show to where I can just sit around and talk about whatever. Anyway, Halo 4, by the way, I'm not having any Game Caviar Studios online gameplay. Uh, I love this game. It's an amazing game. It's something that I definitely will be playing up until Black Ops 2 next week. But uh, I want to I wanna touch, touch on the subject with my hands. No, uh, I want to talk about controversy. More importantly, controversy on YouTube. There are a lot of people who go for controversy to get views in their videos. Most of the time, it works. Controversy is something, a, a prime example. My most popular video ever while doing YouTube was a video that I created where I stated that <laughs> Medal of Honor Warfighter was gonna be better than Black Ops 2. I made that video way before Medal of Honor was called Warfighter. It didn't even have a name. We knew that another Medal of Honor was coming out, but I did not know, nobody knew that it was gonna be called Warfighter, and Black Ops 2 was nowhere near being uh, announced. We didn't have any details of it at all. Without that, without any of that info, that video has over 120,000 views. And it's gotten even more since uh, Warfighter has came out and Black Ops 2 is about to come out and you get what happened what and I didn't set out to make a I didn't think it was gonna blow up I was literally just speaking my opinion because that's what I thought I literally thought the next Medal of Honor was gonna be better than Black Ops 2 because it was set up to be that way now as as far as as of early Sunday morning Eastern Standard Time it's not panned out that way Black Ops 2 isn't out yet but whatever i was wrong you know i i'm probably gonna be wrong it's a high possibility that i was wrong i'm not ashamed to say that i don't care but the thing is that video caused so much controversy that people started commenting and like you know it went from agreeing with me or calling me stupid to arguing with each other and all that did was boost that video to where it is now a lot of people enjoy uh, setting up videos for controversy and if you're going for nothing but views that's great you got people who have excellent commentaries and excellent gameplay you have people like El Presidor and I love El Presidor's videos but some of his most of his um, gameplay videos he doesn't have a, a good match but it doesn't matter because he's so animated and he does so so good and commentating that I don't care if he goes 0 and 22 He's funny to, to listen to, and, and his commentaries are just uh, something that I haven't seen yet in while watching YouTube. And you have the other people who do the old, uh, and it's not just limited to gameplay, but you, and they would have their custom thumbnail, and they would put like a, a half-naked chick, or they would have something that says, let's talk about sex. Sex sells. If somebody tells you that sex doesn't sell, they're lying to you right in your face or your ear if you're talking to them over the phone. Sex sells. Controversy sells. Having a good, ha being able to, uh, in YouTube, it's uh, either you have to be good at getting people to uh, just click your video randomly so you can build up a fan base, or you have to be able to get somebody or people in general to watch your video. You have to captivate their attention. You have to do more than that. You have to control their attention for five minutes or nine minutes or however long your videos are in order for you to gain some level of success. Nobody goes on YouTube to not be seen. Period. This is a video website. It's all about videos. If you upload a video to YouTube, you want it to be seen. And naturally, you want it to be seen as much as possible unless you're just not competitive at all and you just do YouTube because whatever i don't know <clears throat> and you could love it you can actually you can honestly love it like i do like i love doing uh my gameplay videos i love game caviar i love talking to the caviars and the caveats but at the same time in order for me to in order for my channel to succeed i understand that i need to get views that's the whole 
That's that's like the main point of being on YouTube. So does controversy sell? You damn right it sells. But it, I mean, I don't. If you have, if you're controversial, if you if you have controversy, please, I don't. There's a difference between being controversial and just trolling, like straight up. I don't want to click on a video that says something and then it's some something completely different. And I've done that before, and it's really lame to do that because you're just getting, you're just tricking people into clicking on your videos. Now, if you say, and you could be controversial about anything, you could say uh, wheat bread is better than white bread. Uh, the election would be a big thing because, I mean, it's passed now, but that would have been a big thing to be controversial on. And I could talk about the election and whatever, but there's no place, there's no place for that in a gaming channel. That's, that's my thought of it. I'm here for video game uh, and entertainment and uh, electronics. I'm not here to talk about domestic uh, policy and foreign policy and who should be president. Um, that's just not what this channel is set up for. But there is a lot of controversial things that get a lot of attention on YouTube. So that's just one of the things that people do to gain success in YouTube. And uh, Twitter beef between big channels and everything, that's a, another big part of it. Somebody starts beefing on Twitter because of something that somebody said or something that, that happened, you know, whatever. That, I mean, you get fan bases going after fan bases and then that just uh, pads the stats for the people who own the channels. And it works out in the end for those people. But let me know what you think. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.